Hi, my name is Doug Wolf, Customer Relations Manager for Edgewater Boats. We're in mold repair. This is where all the molds come in after they're used to come in and get repaired of any things that may have happened to them. A perfect mold creates a perfect part. To give you an example, this is a very small blemish that's been created by pulling the part out of the mold. This will get taken down smooth and resprayed. Otherwise, this little imperfection will show up in the part. This is part of the deck section of a boat. If you look closely, you can see the actual non-skid that is built into the mold. You can see the reverse of the fish box. That would be the console. So every little detail, the little hinge cutouts are already put in and ready to go. Here we are in lamination. This is actually a hull mold. And just to give you an idea where we are, this is the actual green gel coated mold. We saw earlier was black, some are red, some are green. We will first spray on the white gel coat. And if you look closely, you can see the white gel coat. It has already been sprayed on. Then a bulk coat of fiberglass. There's key areas, key strength areas in the strakes and different areas that will get a, a much more robust uh, fiberglass. If you look closely, you'll notice this is a 37 because it has the stepped hull design. You can see the different reinforcement areas. This is one of many steps in the lamination process. Keep in mind, a boat is built in reverse. So we're looking at the gel coat could spray on first and different layers of, of fiberglass and resin and, and phenolic. To give you an idea of where we are on the boat, this is obviously the bow of the boat. You'll see this area here. This is where the anchor roller or the anchor road would sit and possibly a windlass if it gets it. Move for, further back in the boat. This would be a fish box or a cooler. You go a little further back. This is the console that you would step in and go down in where you would store life jackets and whatnot. And it goes further back. There's a, a fuel tank cover here. It goes further back to the motor well. The motor well drains, you can visibly see, you know, high stress area. There's, there's phenolic in different areas for, for different things, whether it be a, a cleat or a rod holder. It's all laminated in. When it gets popped out, it's a perfect part. Something that's a little unique to Edgewater is all the areas that we know are going to hold water, whether it be the windlass area or deck covers. We use a barrier coat. And anytime water lays on gel coat, you have the possibility of osmotic blistering. By utilizing this black, it looks like black gel coat, but it's a black film that goes over key areas of the boat that will protect it from osmotic blistering. It's just another step that we do to protect the boat long term. It's a very hands-on process. We have a guy hand laying the little more robust fiberglass. Um, they'll come behind it and roll out all the air. They have the pre-cut blocks that are going to put in, in specific areas for strength, whether it be a cleat or a bow rail or a cup holder, whatever the case may be, where there needs to be some extra strength. You know, everything is trimmed to fit. We just don't lay it over to get big folds and, and wrinkles. Everything is hand cut. These are all pre-cut pieces, by the way, in another location. Uh, they come over in a kit and it'll be labeled, you know, 280cc, 230, whatever the case may be. We saw the raw mold, then we saw the skim coat with the chop, then we come to the bulk coat. This is where the stringers, the bulkheads get all tied together. It's pre-cut foam core that interlocks together like a puzzle. Then we have pre-cut kitted fiberglass that goes in critical areas. That is, you know, we follow by the print. Everything gets laid in place. It will then be all hand laid when we're all happy with the way everything is laying. Then we start the bagging process and the SPI, single piece infusion. This is the beginning stages of our single piece infusion or SPI. It's Edgewater's claim to fame. Every boat, 23 feet and above, gets this process. One of the things that sets us apart from other boat companies is our single piece infusion. All the fiberglass has been laid in the boat. It's dry fiberglass at this point. We put the, 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 the plastic over it and we hook up each individual hose in the different areas. We have to come along with a leak detector um, that looks like this and it's, it's a device that will actually hear the hissing noise. So each, each one has to be individually checked for a leak. Once we get all the hoses picked up and plugged in, they'll all be centered into a vat of resin. And then individual valves will be opened up at the correct time to pull in the resin. And only the right amount of resin can be pulled in. That's where you get the lightweight infused hull. This gives you the exact amount of resin to fiberglass ratio. This is a 280CX deck that is freshly out of the mold. We've cut the holes already in trim and grind. You'll notice that the live wells and fish boxes are foamed for insulating purposes. Some, some people use them as coolers or, or 
bait wells, we insulate them just in case. But you'll notice how nice the part is. This is, hasn't been touched, has not been buffed, cleaned. It is fresh out of the mold. The non-skid is beautiful. There's no cracks, there's no blemishes. A perfect mold develops a perfect part. I'm currently in a 248CX. Kind of the last step of lamination process is the foam filling of our hull. You look at all the, along the sides of the boat and in the front of the boat is a uh, closed cell foam. We pour it in, it'll rise to a certain height. It's closed cell foam so it can't absorb water, but we go ahead and resin coat it for another layer of protection. It's very strong, it's very durable. The back half of the boat you'll notice is white. That's a white gel coat that we put in place. It just gives a little bit more attractive feel to the boat. You know, you have access to the pumps, you have access to the through holes and whatnot. So last stage of lamination is foam filling and off to assembly. Lamination is a significant piece of the puzzle. However, it's just the beginning.